My name is Brad Snyder. I graduated from the Naval Academy in 2006. I swam all four years while I was there. I specialized in distance swimming, swimming the mile and a thousand yard freestyle. Upon graduation, I earned a spot to begin the bomb squad for the Navy. In 2007, I ended up deploying to Iraq, then deployed again to Afghanistan in 2011. On the 7th of September 2011, I was part of an assault team that was conducting combat operations in the Kandahar province of Afghanistan. And uh, at the front of our patrol, two of the Afghan good guys that we were working with stepped on an improvised explosive device. In the ensuing effort to render aid to those two casualties, I stepped on a secondary improvised explosive device buried in the ground. But unfortunately, I completely lost the use of both of my eyes. So I began swimming in the recovery process as a way to just stay in shape. What I found though is the water was a nice respite from struggling through everything. So when you're adapting to being blind, I'm not good at anything. So those are major blows to your confidence where even the simplest things are something you struggle at. Swimming wasn't that way. From the moment I hopped in the pool, uh, I was able to get back and forth just fine. And then before too long, I was able to start sprinting and going back and forth. And for the first time in my blind life, I felt free. All of my friends and family knew me as a swimmer, so hopping in the water the first time was a way to show them I'm gonna be okay. As luck would have it, it was an Olympic year. And then the story got even richer when people said, you know, you'd have the opportunity to compete on the exact day anniversary from the day you lost your vision. I agreed to go out into Colorado Springs and race for just one time just to see how it was. My first shot out of the gates, a 50 meter freestyle, I landed at number five in the world rankings list and qualified for the U.S. national team. Well, this man here, Bradley Schneider, dominated the morning heats. Bradley Schneider of the USA, just going to be outside 4.30. Even to this day, when I look back on those memories, it seems so surreal. And a lot of days when I wake up, I think maybe I'm going to wake up and that whole year is going to be a dream, but every day I wake up and it did happen. The story came true where I won a gold medal at the Paralympics on the exact year anniversary from the day I lost my vision. When I stood on the podium with that medal around my neck listening to our anthem, I wasn't thinking about anything that I had done. I was thinking about all the amazing people that had propped me up, who had dusted me off when I was down and and got me back into life in a big way. Through my work with the Commit Foundation, I met Bill Krauss, who told me about Mission Barbecue. And right from the get-go, I was in love with the concept. And then the first time I was here was right around noon when everyone stopped to stand up and listen to the anthem. I thought, this place is incredible. I can't believe that there's a place like this with a very America-focused delivery vehicle from barbecue and country music to things up on the wall that all celebrate those service-minded individuals. I, th I thought that was really great. Phil asked me if I had something to throw up on the wall. I was absolutely tickled and honored and thought, absolutely. I settled on one of my old uniforms, really tells my story. I was an EOD officer, which you can see my insignia up there. We call it the crab. On my right shoulder, there's a flag. And then on the left shoulder is the Don't Tread on Me flag, which is symbolic of my naval service. Sometimes when you leave the service, sometimes it feels like it could have been all for nothing. And it's a uniform that just hangs in your closet. You know, you don't forget about it, but it seems like everybody else does. It's nice to come to a place where it's not in my closet, it's up on a wall, and it means something. And people may ask me about it, and I'll, I may have the opportunity to, to share the stories of myself and, the, and my brothers. That's awesome to me. I feel really good about that. I don't sit here because I'm a narcissist and I want everybody to come and look at my plaque. I sit here just because I feel like I have a place. I feel welcome, and I feel like this is, this is my spot, you know, and, and I, I I like bringing my mom here because my mom gets so excited to see my uniform up on the wall and I feel like 
you know, my service means something. And that, that goes a long way to know that even though I can't do it anymore, I'm not a ghost. Through all of the experiences, from swimming at the Naval Academy to being a part of platoons deploying to Iraq and Afghanistan to being a part of the Paralympic national team representing the U.S., the lesson that always comes to the forefront is the power of community. And so I, I like the fact that you know, this is a community center. People come here to, to have lunch meetings or to meet their family. And all the while, while you're doing that, you know, you're honoring uh, our country's heroes and they're up on the wall. Yeah.